Stick with us, because today we're diving into one of the most overlooked forces holding our world together. You've used it in school projects, household repairs, maybe even in your job. But have you ever really thought about it? What is glue? What makes it sticky? And how do we go from raw chemicals or even animal bones to the precise engineered adhesives that hold cars, shoes, electronics, and skyscrapers together? Welcome to Decode Lab, the channel where we break down the science and stories behind the objects all around you. Glue might not seem as thrilling as rockets or AI, but think about this. Without glue, airplanes wouldn't fly, smartphones wouldn't stay together, even shoes would fall apart. It's one of the most silently essential inventions in human history. Today, we'll journey through the fascinating history of glue how glue actually works at the molecular level, the different types of adhesives, and where they're used. And finally, how glue is manufactured at scale, from raw material to bottle. So grab your curiosity, and maybe a glue stick, because this story is gonna stick with you. Let's rewind thousands of years. The earliest evidence of glue dates back to 200,000 BC, when prehistoric humans used birch bark tar to attach flint tools to wooden handles. Fast forward to ancient Egypt. Artisans were boiling down animal hides and connective tissue to create a primitive glue used in woodwork and coffins. Even in the Middle Ages, glue was made in small batches by boiling bones, skins, and hooves, what we now call animal glue. These early glues worked, but had a strong odor short shelf life and were sensitive to moisture. Then came the Industrial Revolution, and with the rise of chemistry, we began developing synthetic alternatives, stronger, cleaner, and far more durable. Today, we have glues that can hold steel, survive underwater, or bond in seconds. What is glue, really? At its core, glue is a substance that bonds two surfaces together by forming a chemical or physical interaction. There are two basic types of adhesion. 1. Mechanical Adhesion Glue seeps into the pores of a surface and locks in place, like how hot glue grips cardboard. 2. Chemical Adhesion The glue forms actual molecular bonds with the surface. This is how epoxies and superglues work. When glue is applied, it's usually in liquid or molten form. As it cools, dries, or reacts with air or light, it solidifies, holding the materials together. Here's a fun fact. The strength of glue doesn't come from stickiness alone. It's about how well it interacts with the surface and how it distributes stress. That's why the same glue won't work for both paper and metal. There are hundreds of glue formulas out there, but most fall into a few key categories. Natural adhesives, made from starches, proteins, or plant resins. Think paper glue, envelope adhesive, or animal hide glue used in violins. Synthetic adhesives, the big players in modern manufacturing. These include VVA, polyvinyl acetate, the classic white glue in schools and woodworking. Of P resins, super strong used in metal, stone, and automotive parts. Psionic relate, better known as super glue. Polyurethane adhesives, great for flexible or waterproof bonds. Hot melt glue, those solid glue sticks you melt in a gun. Each type is custom engineered for things like drying time, temperature resistance, flexibility, and bonding strength. Let's step into the factory and decode the actual process. We'll use PVA glue as our example, the common white glue used in schools and wood shops. Step 1 Raw Material Sourcing. It starts with petrochemicals, specifically acetic acid and ethylene which are used to create a compound called vinyl acetate monomer, VAM. Step 2. Polymerization. VAM is fed into a reactor along with water, initiators, and emulsifiers. Heat and pressure are applied, triggering a chemical chain reaction called polymerization, where molecules link to form long, flexible chains of polyvinyl acetate, the actual adhesive. Step 3. Emulsification. The resulting polymer is blended with stabilizers to prevent clumping, plasticizers to keep it flexible, and preservatives to stop bacteria glue. This creates a milky, smooth, liquid glue. Step 4. Filtration and Quality Testing 
The glue goes through industrial filters to remove contaminants. Samples are tested for pH, viscosity, tackiness, and bond strength. Precision here ensures the glue works perfectly every time. Step 5. Packaging. The final product is filled into bottles, barrels, glue sticks, or massive industrial drums. Some are even made into pellets or cartridges for factory machines. Now, what about hot melt glue sticks? Those are made by melting thermoplastic resins with waxes and additives, then poured into cylindrical molds. Once cooled, they're sliced into the sticks you use in a glue gun. It's fast, clean, and efficient. Let's zoom out for a second. Think about your daily life. The shoes you wear, glued. Your furniture, likely glued. Even your smartphone. Yep, the screen is bonded with micro-thin adhesive. In aerospace and automotive industries, adhesives are used to replace welding or screws, reducing weight and improving performance. In medicine, surgical glue can replace stitches. In construction, adhesives hold flooring, tiles, and even glass panels. And with eco-friendly innovation, biodegradable and plant-based glues are being developed to make products greener and safer. Glue is more than just sticky stuff in a bottle. It's chemistry, design, and engineering coming together to bond not just materials, but entire industries. From ancient tree sap to space-age adhesives, it reminds us that even the smallest components can play the biggest roles. It's proof that innovation doesn't always scream. It often just quietly holds everything in place. If this video stuck with you, pun intended, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone curious, and hit that subscribe button. This is the Decode Lab. Until next time, stay curious and keep decoding.